Hi, George here. We're going to take my sugarcane farm over there and add a little bit of automation to that, make it a bit better. So let's just flip around here. And I want to get rid of just a couple of rows in here just to give me some space. There we go. I don't want that one in the way. Okay, that's good. And let's chop this one off at the middle. So I have one sugar cane right there. Right behind it, I have water underneath these planks. So that's waterlogged planks in here. And that's what we need. We'll build our automation right back in here. So first thing I want is a block right there. And then behind that, another block. I'll put a couple of blocks in here. We'll need those a little later on. There we go, just a way to get around. Now on top of this, I need to have a piston right here facing the front. And to make a piston, let's go ahead and get one of those made over here. And for a piston, take three planks. Doesn't matter what kind of planks they are, just three planks like that across the top. And then take a cobblestone, put a cobblestone here and a cobblestone right there. And then cobblestone here and there as well. In the middle, let's put an iron right there. And at the bottom, we'll put redstone. And there we go. There's your basic piston. We'll take that down. We also need an observer for this. So back here to our cobblestone, go right across the top with the cobblestone, right across the bottom with the cobblestone. So two rows of that. Then we want redstone, two redstones, and you need to get this from the nether. We want one nether quartz right there. And that gives you the observer, and we're set there. Okay, let's go back over, right back over here again, and we'll take that piston, and I'll put it right on top, right there, facing front. There we go. Now I need to have an observer on top of the piston. And I need to have a block in behind the piston right there. Okay, now to put the observer on top, I have to be in behind and facing the back side. So that's why I have it block in here. So I'm facing the back side. Let's take the observer and put it right on top. You should see that red dot in the back. If I go around to the front up here, we should see the observer facing forward. Now what happens is the observer is going to be observing anything in front of it and it will then fire this once we get those linked together. And it'll see that because this sugar cane is going to grow up one level and then two level. When it goes to two levels up here, the observer sees that, fires a piston, and that breaks up the top two. We need to link these together. Easy to do is just go right back here again and grab some redstone and put it right on top. And that links those together. That's now going to work as that grows up. It's going to then fire that. Now we need to have a way to capture that stuff. So in front up here, I want to put a chest right down here. I got my chest right there. Chests are easy, of course, to make. Put a chest right here. And if you want, you can make it a double chest. There we go. On top of the chest, I need a hopper, someplace to grab that as it gets broken off. So let's go ahead. We'll make a hopper. And that's right back over here again. Hopper is easy. Put a chest in the middle and then take some iron and do a V shape like that around your chest. And that gives you a hopper. Okay. Back over here again. And I place the hopper. Go into sneak mode. Just hold the shift key down. Click on top. And there's a hopper in front. So when this breaks off, that sugar cane is going to go flying around and flying into here. Now to keep it contained, we need to surround this thing with something. I'll just use glass so it's easy. And since I'm right here, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Just get that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Now I have some glass in here already. Here's my glass. And let's put it right across just like this. And we'll go up like that. That blocks that off. Front side. There we go. And right over here. That out of the way. And do a clear around again like this. You need to have space in here for that to grow up to this level. So let's come back here and we'll finish filling this in. Looks good. And then around back up on top here. And again, this has to be 
clear right here. So I'll go up one more level and fill that in. And there it is. The whole thing is now filled in with glass. Now, we didn't put glass right here, so I can right click on that and there's my chest. I can get to the chest that way. And everything else should work out just fine. That should be okay. You may lose a little bit of sugar cane. It may fall off to the sides here, but it's mostly going to go inside there. Now, the problem with this, of course, is that sugar cane takes a long time to grow. It's not a real fast crop, but as it grows, this will chop it off and collect it down there without your having to do any work. Now, if you want to, you can expand this thing and that will make it go faster for you. So for that, I'm just going to break this glass out of here. Just like that. And you can expand this off to the side. Let's do a couple more of these things in here. And I got another piston up here. There we go. Piston right here. And then piston right there. You link those together. And that's just redstone right across the top up here. That links those together. You only need just that one observer. It's going to observe that one spot. And then once that grows up, it'll fire all the pistons. Of course, we need to have more sugar cane right here and right here. I need to have more hoppers in here to catch all that stuff and then surround the whole thing, of course, with glass. Now, the problem with things like observers and things like this automated situation here is that this is only going to work if you're nearby. So you can't go off and exploring someplace else. And that's because Minecraft only runs when you're around Minecraft. You have to be around whatever it is that's going to be there to actually run. So you need to be somewhere around here. So if you're working on your base, doing things like that, you know, working out in here, collecting honey, whatever, you'll be close enough so this thing will be running. And then that should be okay. And you should be able to automatically harvest your sugar cane this way. You can see how this works. If I put a block in front of that observer up here, I'll just put a glass block right there. There we go. That changed in front and it fired those three pistons. If I take this out again, again, there's a change and it fires those three pistons. So all I have to do is just wait for the sugar cane to grow up to that level. It will then fire all three pistons and chop off all the sugar cane at that point. And it's that easy to do. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. My channel is 100% fan supported. If you want to help me continue to make Minecraft videos in here, then consider joining me as a patron over on Patreon. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.